am your astrologer, Wonder Girl, taking you to new heights. Here is your daily forecast for the day of Wednesday, April 4th, 2018. Now, what we've got going on today, very early today, is the moon actually hanging out still in Scorpio, right around here. Okay, what well, that's gonna bring our attention still to uh, are some uh, endings and beginnings in life. Deaths and births comes in with Scorpio. Also, um, yeah, endings and beginnings, some big changes you wanna make. What else do you get in Scorpio? Dealing with some deep emotions hidden beneath the surface, as well as money, how you're spending your money, and relationships, deep intimate relationships that you may have with another person. Okay, so that's what we're thinking about very early this morning with the moon in Scorpio, okay? At about midnight, uh, the end of yesterday into today, the moon in Scorpio is in a trine here with Chiron, perhaps springing up some hurt or uncomfortable feelings about our money, about some changes we're making, about what's going on inside us, about our relationships, okay, that maybe did not feel too good, us just not feeling right inside about what's going on, maybe feeling like we got some old habits or some old issues that keep coming up time and time again, maybe feeling like we're never going to be able to get in a better place with what's going on because there keeps being things that come up um, that we need to change or that we need to address that are uncomfortable, all right, um, so definitely a little bit of a hard spot there um, late last night into this morning. Okay, after that happens though, pretty quickly after, um, at 1 a.m. mountain time, the moon after it's at this hard spot in Scorpio then moves into Sagittarius where it is right here in this chart. All right, when the moon's in Sagittarius, it's in a little bit more of an optimistic kind of place than it is when the moon's in Scorpio. And it brings our attention now to doing something new, to traveling, um, to adventuring, uh, also to experimenting with things we haven't done before. Also, Sagittarius rules learning new things and your belief systems, what you believe about life. All right, so after you make some big changes in Scorpio, then when we get into Sagittarius, the ninth sign, we have to do something new because we've changed our life to not do what we were doing, to do something else, okay? Just to show you the progression of the signs. And now that we've changed things in Scorpio, the next sign, Sagittarius, says, what does it all mean? Okay, so what we're trying to do here with the moon in Sagittarius is to do something new based on all of these feelings or changes that have come up and to make sense of what is going on in our life, of what it all means so that we can move forward. Okay, so that's what we've got in Sagittarius. Now, after the moon enters Sagittarius at 1 a.m., it's just going to hang out there for much of the day until 6 p.m., all right, towards the nighttime. So that means that most of the day is gonna be us doing the Sagittarius thing, philosophizing about life, trying to make sense of our life, trying to understand what is going on. Maybe us as well trying to do something new, realizing, as I just said, that there were some changes that we need to make, and now that we're making some changes, launching forward, doing something we haven't done before as a result of that, all right? And I think that's what's going on for most of the day today. Because the moon is not making any aspects for most of the day, we could not feel like we're making much progress. We could feel like, ah, oh, I'm trying to understand my life better, I'm trying to feel more excited about life, but either it's not happening or nothing's sticking or something like that, okay? And we're just trying to work things out during the day even if we don't feel like we're making progress okay so just be uh, a little mindful of that if you're feeling like things aren't going anywhere during the day the night time however things do pick up because at 6 p.m mountain time the moon after it just has been hanging out in Sagittarius all day then comes into a trine with Mercury and Aries Okay, as you can see it right here. And I actually really like this. I think this what this could bring up at 6 p.m. is lots of conversations, lots of talking, um, either with other people or yourself, thinking inside, going on. And I think what you're thinking about is with, of course, Mercury and Aries, you, who you are, what's important to you, what's going on with you. I think you're also thinking a lot about here, Sagittarius, again, what you believe about your life, what you believe about yourself, um, how you can get more excited about life in some way and move forward. And I think what comes in at the nighttime is a lot of thinking going on. You trying to understand your life, make sense of things, uh, and trying maybe to process things logically, mentally, instead of emotionally, so that you can move your life in a place that you want it to go in, all right? So I see that happening there. Conversations coming up being a good thing. These conversations with the trine could be a little bit hard if there's some other hard stuff going on in your life, which there is in the rest of the chart uh, going on, but I like to think that they're gonna be positive. The reason why I think these conversations are gonna be positive is because, I don't know, I like trines um, for the most part. 
Um, I, you know, Sagittarius is an optimistic sign. And also because right after the moon makes this trine to Mercury, about a few hours later, I guess at midnight. So what is that, like six hours later, the moon comes off this trine to Mercury and it starts to make a trine to the North Node. Okay, and I really like the North Node. So I think whatever conversations that it is that come up, for better or for worse, um, at 6 p.m. about your life, about who you are, about what's going on with you, is ultimately at midnight with this trine to the North Node going to help you move forward, figure out what you need to be happy with Leo involved, um, help you to make progress, help you to feel like you're understanding what you need in your life to be happier, to move forward, to make some progress, okay? Um, so that's what I see going on there, and I, I just like it, all right? I think we start the day kind of hard, some hard things, maybe during the middle of the day with the moon just hanging out in Sagittarius. We're not really making any progress. Maybe we're still trying to come out of like the hard feelings of last night, trying to make sense of things and not really going anywhere. And then I see once we get to 6 p.m. mountain time at night until midnight, things starting to pick up, lots of conversations, lots of thinking, starting to understand more logically what's going on with your life and not emotionally. The last few days were emotional. Now the mind's starting to engage, okay? Starting to pick things up logically and start to understand what you need to do to be happy, how you can make sense of your life in the right ways to feel more excited about it and move forward. And I really like that, okay? So that's to me what's going on today. Just to warn you, after this happens, at midnight though, tomorrow, the moon's gonna move further through Sagittarius and it's going to make a square to Neptune. Okay, so this square could definitely bring up some confusion tomorrow morning. After you've got some big insights or some understanding or maybe just had some productive conversations uh, in some way at the very end of today, tomorrow some confusion could come in about all of this. Maybe feeling uncomfortable now with these insights that you've received, with the things that were said the night before. Um, not in like a hurt kind of way, but maybe just confused um, and feeling like you're being taken out of your comfort zone a little bit uh, coming in. And there could be a need with the square to Neptune first thing tomorrow morning or as we start to come off of midnight into tomorrow to process things spiritually, um, to take a break from the logic for a second and to take a step back as well. Neptune to me being the planet that rules solitude as well, also ruling meditation. So maybe after we have some of these conversations at night, lots of things come up, information, things are said, hopefully that are helpful, and you think things that are helpful, then I think when it gets to be tomorrow morning, we need to take a step back to integrate all of this stuff into who it is that we are to get comfortable with all of this stuff that's come up so that we can feel better just overall, feel more at peace and at whole with everything that has come up and that's happened, all right? Um, so that's what I see going on there. Now, for the other stuff going on in the background, what we have is, what do I want to start with? Um, I guess I can start with some Mercury since I just talked about that. We kind of have Mercury and the Sun still in a conjunction, it's moving further apart there, but lots of thinking going on about your identity, about who you are, with the Sun making a trine to the North Node, lots of thinking about what you need to be happy, what will make you happy coming in, okay? Trying to figure all of that out, work out some details, perhaps from the past, about you, something that's important to you, what you need to be happy with this thing, okay? Uh, coming in with the square for Mercury coming into um, Saturn, this, a square with Saturn and Mars, some of these things that we're thinking about what it is that we need to be happy may be a little bit hard for us to then convert that into something that can really help us to put our life in the right direction, to move up in the world. Maybe we understand what, what it is we need to be happy, to find the enjoyment in life, to do what it is that we want, but it, it's then just taking all of that and using it to our advantage to feel like we're moving somewhere with it. That is the problem with the square coming in that could be a little bit difficult and very frustrating. <laughs> You know, having a lot of things that we like, that we enjoy, that we want, but it's just not working in the ways that we want it to work and needing to be patient um, with the Saturn and Mars thing, needing to be dedicated, needing to be disciplined, and needing to not worry if you feel restricted in, in life with the Saturn Mars thing, okay? Any restrictions that you feel are in turn helping you to refine your plan, to understand what you need better, and to figure out how you can build a bridge, work around things in a way that is ultimately gonna, gonna work out for your good, okay? Um, so I see that coming in there. 
Yeah, and that's kind of interesting because the moon's triggering that today. The moon, if you see it, it's in a trine with both of these things, which are like in a square here. So I do think with the moon today, there is a good opportunity for you to understand what you want, what makes you happy, okay? Um, but there still may be more time needed. You may still need to be a little bit patient, right, before the moon catches up to the Saturn-Mars thing and before you start to feel like you're actually making progress, doing the things you like in a way that can work more. Yeah. Yeah. That's just kind of interesting. Okay. Um, what else do we have going on? Venus here uh, and just moved into Taurus also starting to make a trine to Saturn and Mars also coming in. I think starting to give us more just so you can see the degrees here where Saturn is. Um, Venus at five starting to come into the trine with Saturn and Mars and I think we're starting to get more and more slowly and slowly very slowly <laughs> throughout this week starting to get more of the uh, patience more of the determination that we need to do what needs to be done you know I, I like to think of what's going on right now it just came to me a battle of the tortoise and the hare you've got Aries and Leo and your Sagittarius your fire signs are like the rabbit, the hare, wanna run and win the race, you know, especially Aries, very competitive, you know, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna beat you. And then you've got Taurus and Capricorn over here, the to the tortoise, <laughs> Taurus with the tortoise, being like, uh, okay, fine, you can run fast, you can get there first, but you're gonna be super tired by the end of it. And I'm gonna run slow, and I'm gonna put in the work and be dedicated, and I'm actually gonna be better off in the end. And so I think that's what's going on is that we've got a lot of things going on making us wanting to go fast and make things happen and Taurus and Saturn and Mars slowing us down saying not so fast. You gotta make sure you're building on the right things in the right ways, running the right race <laughs> in, in the way that's gonna help you the best in the end. So I think there's a lot of that going on happening and then while all that's going on, Jupiter in a sextile with Pluto too, helping us to go over some things from the past to make them better. And I think we wanna run forward. We wanna run forward in a really fast way to make things happen, but we need to make sure that we're going over some things that we were doing to make them better, to work all the details out so that we can um, make sure we're doing things in a way that's ultimately going to serve our best interest. Okay, Chiron at 29 degrees as well, also bringing up some hurt feelings in a really, really big way. Any planet at 29 degrees, it's a little uncomfortable. Okay, and these are some big fears coming up at 29 degrees. Everything that's been hurting you, it's like all of a sudden it comes back. You have to like face all your demons once again. The last sign, the last degree of a sign is where you have to learn all the lessons that came during the previous 28 degrees, 29 degrees. Okay, and all of the things that are going on with Chiron being in Pisces now are coming back to us to deal with and to overcome and it could feel a little overwhelming. It could feel like a lot of hurt going on inside us, some kind of, you know, fear or insecurity or um, something going on spiritually, hurt spiritually, hurt about our past, not feeling whole, not feeling complete in our life, feeling like the same issues keep coming up. That Chiron in Pisces is saying, don't fall in the same old patterns. You must beat this, you must beat this. <laughs> and not let some of these old things uh, bother you over and over again so that you can move forward and we're having to face them all now while a bunch of other hard stuff are going on and to just be patient don't freak out things are going to be fine and they're all going to come together if you just balance your passion and your excitement with some solid planning and patience okay so that's what i've got for you now your card for the day is the knight of cups what is this one? I would not have thought, I still don't know why. This card makes no sense to me. I'm like, did I shuffle the deck right? Was I distracted when I was shuffling the deck? I'll just go with it and see if any of you think this resonates with you today. This card, Knight of Cups, I mean, it's good. It makes it a good day for emotions. It does. It makes it a good day to um, understand what's going on with your emotions, to have new feelings, emotions that are good for you coming in so i do like this card i mean sagittarius where the moon is going to be is generally an optimistic sign where you start to think more about the future more about something new that's going on so maybe that's what's coming to new emotional states envisioning a new future in some way that's good for you emotionally also these conversations that are going to come up at the night time i also think being very good for you logically not emotionally but maybe they also might carry some emotional weight and importance with them too considering you're just coming off of the moon being in the 
very emotional sign of Scorpio. Okay, so there could be some of that coming in. And I think with what this card is saying, could be a lot of feelings, but could also be a chance with this card to start to hopefully get a handle on them um, and I, I don't know, get, get more excited for the, for the future. Okay. Yeah, that's an interesting one. You'll have to tell me what you think about this card down in the comments. Cause I was not expecting this one. All right. But that's what I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching my horoscope. If you like it, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, and I will talk to you later.